everyone and welcome to my channel. Make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss a new video or a live stream and give me a big thumbs up at the end of the video. Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am here today because I am doing a collaboration with my planner sis, my sister in Christ, my bestie, Lisa Mack from Planning and Praying. And we came together to decide to do a collaboration for the whole month of February called God's Love for Me. What is that? So we put together 28 scriptures showing God's love for us as his children, showing how much he loves us, showing the sacrifices he made on our behalf so we can live a life of abundance and a life that we can just be able to learn how to not only love ourselves, but to love others. So with this scripture slash reading plan, it's uh, 28 scriptures again, and it's a scripture that you read every day in which you can either write in your planner or in your journal, write the scripture down so you can get familiar with the passage um, about how God feels about you, and then write a reflection, a revelation, or how you can apply that scripture to your life to teach you how to love yourself more and as well um, love others. So with that reading plan, we will post it on our social media sites and if you go to my website, hertestimony.com, it will be under the faith planning section and you can actually go on there and right click on the, um, the uh, <laughs> this reading plan because I did put it in a, a PDF format. If you right click on it, you should be able to print it, save it to your computer, and you may be able to customize your sizing if you play around with your um, printer settings to make it fit in your planners. But this reading plan was designed for the month of February because February is what we consider the month of love. And some people may be celebrating it with a husband, some people may be celebrating it with their children, some people may be alone. So we want everybody to find God's love through these scriptures to be able to just have a spiritual hug that God is putting around you during this time of the year because some people are going through heartbreak some people are celebrating new life some people are even celebrating death and we have to know that through all of that there is a unconditional and agape love that God has for us and once we know that the measure that we hold to the world in regards to giving us love is not even going to matter because God's love is unexplainable is enormous it is so great that regardless of where you are in your life whether you are at the high end or the low end or even just in the middle end you will find comfort in knowing that God loves you so with that being said what I want to go ahead and do is show you how I set up my monthly view anytime I do a monthly reading plan and this is just a way to one if you can't get to your reading plan right off hand you have somewhere in your planner where you have your reading plan um, set up day by day whether it's a um, just a note of the actual verse in the chapter or whether or not it's just a little flag to indicate hey I got to read this reading plan scripture for today however you want to set it up it is your choice but I want to show you how I set up my monthly view anytime I do a monthly reading plan so if you want to see that stick around so before I get into what a reading and a writing plan really is just want to go over what I'm doing um, I'm laying washi and for most of you all that have been following me know that in all of my faith spreads I use washi and the purpose is because it allows you to have more writing space when you're writing your scriptures and things of that nature and then when you're done if you have white space left then you can go ahead and add the extra stickers but who wants to add stickers use undo or rip up pages because you run out of writing space um, so that's why i use a lot of washi and less stickers um, but the purpose of a reading and a writing plan is so you can take the time to know the word for yourself 
so it can sink in and you can remember it because the more you read something and the more that you write something, the more it becomes real and true to you. And a lot of times, you know, we take the word of other people and a lot of times that word is not correct. So the purpose of a scripture writing and reading plan is so that you can go and seek the word for yourself, write it down so you can rememberize it and so you can be able to learn how to apply it to your life. And Lisa and I decided to do a reading plan called God's Love for Me because February is the month of love and a lot of us are in different phases of love in our life, whether it's new love, old love, um, scorn love, you know, whatever the case may be, um, we always end up trying to find love in the wrong places or the wrong way because we don't know what love is. And the best way to find out what true unconditional love is to go to the Word of God and find out what God tells you about love. And most importantly, to know how He loves us. Because once you find out how He loves you, your standard for love will no longer be lesser than what you deserve. God requires us to love Him so we can learn to love ourselves. And once we love ourselves, we can love others. And that's kind of hard to do when you don't know the source of it. And the source of love is God. God gave his only son for us. And that is love. Because I promise you, it's probably very few people on here that will say that they love someone so much, they will give them their house or give them their child or give them their car <laughs> or give them access to their bank account. But that's what God does. He gives us access to everything because he loves us. And the only way that we can get access to that kind of love is to know his word. And to know his word is to read it and to write it daily. Um, so I hope that helped explain the purpose of a reading and writing plan. And I hope you enjoyed the rest of this plan with me. And I will go ahead and in my voiceover so you can go ahead and enjoy the rest of this. So I am finished my setup in my monthly view in my classic ha happy planner. This is a faith planner, but this is not the faith warrior planner. This is just the regular horizontal planner, as you can see on the other side. So the way I typically like to um, track my monthly plans, whether it's a reading or a scripture plan, whatever the case may be, I like to go in and write out the scripture for that, um, that day. And when I say the scripture, not the whole scripture, I like to write the book, the chapter, and the verse here. That way I can have it in my planner right there with that week or that month um, so I don't have to flip through and try to find the actual um, printable um, that you can use to go along with this reading plan. And then as well, for some people that may not want to print or don't have a printer, you can just view the information, write it in your monthly view, and you'll have your scriptures there. Um, so um, typically what I do, uh, I sit down and I just write all of the days in my planner. I'm not gonna do it just for time's sake, um, but so I'll write each scripture. And then when I start doing them, I can just check them off. Because sometimes when I do my reading plans, I don't always necessarily write them on my, um, weekly views because along with that I do other readings as well um, mostly like my weekly plans I'll save for my actual planner so I will probably be using a journal along with my Bible journal um, when I'm doing this reading plan um, but however you choose to do your daily writing is totally up to you so just to kind of show you what the plan looks like on paper and when you view it, um, we will post this on our social media pages again, as well if you go to hertestimony.com 
under the faith planning section, you'll see a link for scripture writing. And if you click on that, you'll go see this cute little page right here. And you can just right click on it and it'll allow you to print it, save it, whatever you wanna do with it. It is free, no charge, because God's love is free, and so is his word. And so on this guide, um, it's a PDF format. It hasn't been scaled down for each planner, but if you know how to adjust your settings in your printer, you can size it down to fit in probably at least a classic size planner. And it does give you room to punch holes on the side. Or you can always just fold it in half and punch it at the bottom or this way and then it can just open up and you can move it from week to week. It's up to you, however you wanna maneuver it. Maybe um, eventually going down the road, if Lisa and I do more of these, maybe I'll make it more functional um, to fit in different size planners. But until then, this is gonna be it. So this is the reading plan and this is my monthly view. We do plan on doing some um, weekly plan with me's Throughout the month, we have 28 days um, of scripture writing and reading to do together. Um, we will do a check-in on Valentine's Day, and we'll probably go live either on Instagram or on YouTube, just depending on how our setup works. But we wanna definitely stay engaged. We definitely wanna participate. And there will be a discussion um, board also at hertestimony.com where you can put in how you feel about it if you like this reading plan if you want to see more of these from lisa and i um, but it will also be under the um, community board section and the community board you do have to sign up in which it is free but it's a specific section just for people that like to you know engage on a regular basis about the word of god it's our little community area so I will put a um, section in there just for um, this reading plan for those that want to participate in the community board discussion. So I hope you like this. I hope you enjoy this reading plan. Um, Lisa and I are really excited about doing this. We've been talking about doing a collaboration forever and it was God's timing for us to do it right now. I will also leave the link to her video um, either up above or down in the description box just depending depending on how it works out but nevertheless this is a Martha and Mary collaboration and we are just so happy and full of joy and love for each and every one of you guys so before you go if you haven't already done so make sure you subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you never miss a new video or live stream and as well Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and you want to see more faith related videos from me and as well if this has inspired you please share this with your planner friends if you share nothing else please share this because the word of god is what unites us and keeps us together so share this with your planner friends so they can be inspired to create their own lovely plan so until next time planner fam peace Thank you again for watching Her Lovely Plan and I hope that you click that subscribe button and that notification bell.